Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Northwestern Primo Blackboard plug-in adapter. This is a demonstration of the push feature of the adapter. Using this feature, course instructors can push individual Primo records into the Blackboard CMS program course document pages for use by students in their coursework. To set the stage for this demonstration, I will first show you what is currently in both Primo and Blackboard. In Blackboard, we have a course titled History of the Roman Empire in which we will build out our documents page with resource records from Primo. The source documents page is currently empty. In Primo, I have an individual search result, which I will be showing how to push directly into Blackboard. In my Primo eShelf account, I have three individual resources that I will be pushing into Blackboard as a demonstration of how to push multiple records simultaneously into Blackboard. I also have three course folders in my basket section, midterms, finals, and extra credit. In my second demonstration, I will be pulling these folders into my Blackboard course account. So, let's start by pushing a single search result from Primo into my Blackboard course account. Let's take a look at this record from the Art History Lecture Series. In the Details tab, we have added a new Send To option for going to Blackboard, Add to Blackboard. So we'll select this option. Upon selecting this option, the Blackboard login page appears. And then the Add Library Resources window opens for you to complete. We'll select the course, if you have multiple courses. You select the content area that you want the record to go into. And we want it to go into the Documents section. The title's automatically filled in. We have a display title, which you can edit we have a description field that you can set, uh, put a message in, so um, it lets them know they have it for a quiz. We have a link name, which is also something you can edit. You can put other things in there. And then we'll hit Submit. When you hit Submit, the Add Library Resources page closes and you are returned to your Primo search result record. So let's log into Blackboard and see what we've, what we've done. So go to Blackboard, log in. And you'll see uh, here's my History of the Roman Empire course. Here's my course setup pages, and you can tell it's in progress. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, my documents page. Now you can see the individual record that I just pushed into Blackboard in the course documents page. Now that we have seen how to push an individual Primo search result into Blackboard, what if we want to add several records at once? This allows us to find several Primo resources, save them to our eShelf as we search, and then at the end, push them into Blackboard all at once. So, looking at my eShelf account, you see three individual resources. We'll click the checkboxes for each one in order to select them. Then to the right we select Add to Blackboard and then select Go. Since we're already in Blackboard we don't have the login menu we'll, but we do get the Create Library Resources form page. So we'll go to the select a course, we select which course we want it to go into, 
we select the content area and like before we want it to go into the document section now notice that all three record titles appear so we have the titles that we can edit and then titles that are preloaded and then we can have the met the description section I'll just put the word quiz in to make it quick and then down here the link name which is also another editable field and then we hit submit in hitting submit we are now sending all three records to blackboard simultaneously so now let's look take a look at what we've done we'll go to blackboard and we'll refresh the documents page let's take a look at some of these records and see what the students will see when they use these primo resources inside of blackboard we'll go to Rome the electronic resource this takes you to the primo record for Rome and we will go to the online resource and it takes us to a map of Rome that resides in our bookshelf account and they can look at it here inside the online resource tab or if they choose to they can open it up in full page view finally we can go to Shakespeare's Julius Caesar and from the records page go to the online resource reads much listen He's to a it. great observer and he looks quite through the deeds of men he loves no plays as thou dost Antony he hears no music seldom he smiles and smiles in such a sort as if he mocked him so from Blackboard, we can access a Primo record and then play the audio from inside the Primo application. Or we could have clicked Open Resource in a New Window option and have a separate window to view it in. Uh, we can also do it for maps and for any other objects that we have in Primo. It's really too cool. This concludes the first of two demonstrations on the Northwestern Primo Blackboard plugin adapter. In this first video, we demonstrated how to push a Primo search result into a Blackboard course documents page to be used by instructors in providing resources for their students. The second demonstration for this adapter demonstrates the ability to pull eShell folders in their entirety into Blackboard, thus providing organizational functionality to Blackboard using the Primo eShelf. This Primo Blackboard plugin adapter can be found on EL Commons. Thank you very much for watching.